It's Mother's Day 2007, and we're here in our backyard, and Chris is taking a picture of all our fruits and, ve and vegetables. And we're in Orange County. Whenever okay. you're ready. Today is uh, a day before Mother's Day. It's uh, uh, May the 12th. 12th. And uh, this is in our backyard, which we call our farm. And this is my little spot for blooming flowers. There's a poinsettia that's taking off a little bit. And um, these little roses are blooming, which I'm very happy to see. When did those go in? I don't know when I, when we put these out, but anyhow, they just started blooming. And then there's uh, another little plant that's coming out green and it's going to bloom. And uh, this one, I don't know what it's doing or quarter, what it's going to ever become. But I did have some little, what, these little white flowers here. I'm going to have to put in some more. They, what are those, those are psyllum? Are they? I'm pr pretty sure that's what they're called. And this is, um, mm, I forget, it's a spicy. Plant. Tarragon? Right. Um, no, um, um. It could be hawthorn, would it? Could be. I don't know for sure what it is. It's, it's doing very well. Do you use it for tea or something like that? I haven't, but it smells so spicy and nice. And I did have a bunch of chrysanthemums here that had been here for the last six years, but it doesn't look like they're coming out. Looks pretty bare now. And, it does. and here's my berry vines, which I'm very proud of. And you see that they're blooming. They're almost through blooming. They've been blooming for about three weeks. And the bees have been busy here. And we've got a lot of little berries that are developing here. And Hold on, show us those berries one more time. Okay, look at that. And some of them are bigger than this, too. And uh, so pretty soon, uh, we actually picked and ate some, a few ripe ones today. I'm looking to see if I can find any. I think on the next, oh, look it up top there. Right up here. Is there a ripe one up there? Well, it's getting riper. Yeah, it's red anyway. So before long, I'll be picking some, making some boysenberry jam. <coughs> this is an old, old tree. It's a Valencia orange. And you see that it's still producing oranges. And then there's a lot of little baby oranges from where it bloomed today, bloomed this spring. So these will, in another month, will be sweet and good to eat. Oh, And here's some more of the berries. Well, what do you have over here in between the berries? What are these? Well, there's some squash, but I don't think they're doing very well. <coughs> How long have they been in for? Oh, about a three weeks or a month. Then they're not doing too good, I don't think. And those are some new shoots that's coming on the berries. The new growth that will be growing all summer and then we'll have berries on next year. When when we get through eating all these berries then and it's through, then I'll cut all of this old growth off. Right. So you do that once a year? Uh huh. And then all of this new growth that's coming up here will be next year's finds. And uh so it looks like we're going to have a lot of berries. Yeah, it looks like there's thousands on there. It does look like it. What do you do with the berries usually? Well, we eat as all we can and, and we make the rest into jam. <laughs> <laughs> and we all get to enjoy that. Yeah, and here's the tomato plants. These are um, Better Boys. Better Boys? Yeah, better Boys. Christopher got me started on Better Boys. <laughs> Quite a few years ago. Who's Christopher? Well, that's my grandson. <laughs> my, he, at one time he was my one and only grandson. 
but he's my oldest grandson. Now we got a few blooms coming on here. There's one. There's one over there. They're about to bloom. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful. And they, they look quite healthy, I think. They've been in here three weeks or four weeks. Something like that. Here's my rhubarb. Oh, that one's beautiful. It's not... This does plant did the best. And the others are not doing as well as I would like. They seem to do better in the winter than in the summer. And hold on, there's a big empty spot here. What happened well, there? My granddaughter was here today and she wanted, uh, wondered if I could spare one of my plants, so I gave her that one. It was a fairly good size one. And then she's going to break it in pieces and plant, make several plants out of it. Okay, I see. So once it grows, it splits itself? No, it just keeps growing out. Okay. It, it starts, the leaf comes in up from the middle. And uh, at, uh, the new leaf comes up from the middle, so the plant spreads out. I see. And uh, uh, we need to do something to make these, to make them grow a little better so we can have more um, rhubarb. What's this one here? Is that an this aloe vera? Is, this is an aloe vera. And part of it looks kind of dry, but here's some some new shoots coming out. So maybe it's going to do all right. Do you, you do you ever use that one? I seldom ever. But I know what's there if I need it. It's fun to have. <laughs> yeah. And here is... Um, here, well, I did have my aloe vera in, in uh, um, cans and plants, just individual plants, and they did better than when you set them out, it seems like. So they did better in a, like a pot? Yeah. Okay. It seemed to do better. And here are some tomatoes that Margie brought down to me, a six-pack. And I believe she said they were beefsteaks, but look at their blooming... A lot of them are blooming, and they're looking very healthy and very good. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. So how do you water all these? Is, it looks like a, well, a soaker kind of, hose. What do you call that kind of a hose? Like a soaker hose? Yeah. So does that go on daily, or how does that work? 